with yeah. the new album. Yes. Basically, I had always been dream. As, as okay, actually, what happened was that Beatles documentary came out. Mm, the Paul Jackson one where they uh, were in the room. Yes. Uh, yeah. it, it was the making of Let It Be. It was called right. Get Back. Get Back. Have anyone, yeah. Has anyone seen that? It's like six and a half hours long. It's amazing. Yeah. You haven't seen it. It's very worth it. I can't recommend it highly enough but it was peter like, jackson i said paul jackson you did. i meant I was peter like, jackson i was like i don't know the guy's name but no, i don't no, think it was the paul lord jackson. of the rings guy peter jackson that that did the yeah. uh yeah pulled all the old footage thank you yes. yes so when you watch that i'm watching that documentary and it's like in addition to like seeing i had to turn it off a bunch of times because like it's like oh my god jesus is gonna walk on water now i can't i can't watch this <laughs> it's gonna turn the water into wine i can't do it yeah. turn it off yeah. it was like paul's playing let it be and it's right. like and they're working it out and this yeah. is the take you yeah. know like that freaked me out i i had to i had to take a break from that um and actually funny story i started the documentary with my friend and his at the time seven-year-old daughter and we were like we start watching it and she, maybe a half hour in, she's like dad did the Beatles break up? Oh, ooh, that's like Santa's not real. I know. And, he, yeah. and he's like, it's just such a trippy thing. He's like, do they break up? Well, they did break. You know, like, we're talking, looking at the past, but yeah. she doesn't know. Yeah, okay. Oh and, he, and he's like, yeah, honey, they do eventually. And she and she just like, she lost it. Oh, she no. just, it was, yeah. we had to turn yeah. it off. It was yeah. like, and yeah. I, I oh, felt gosh. her. I was like, I know, uh -huh. this is really bad news. It's hard. The <laughs> Beatles break up. Yeah. I understand. It was so, it was so pure. Oh. Uh. Like I'm, I'm further from the source than she is at this moment with with my 36 years of age. But I have to it say, still hurts. I feel you, homie. Yeah. That that hurts is just as much now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so I watched that and I thought, well, this is the template. Like we now all know, everybody just saw that. Basically, they put one mic in front of there we go in front of every sound source. So. If you're singing, there's one mic on you. If there's a guitar you're playing, there's one mic in front of you. Okay, Ringo gets four. That's fine. He's the drummer. Maybe he gets four. I don't even remember. It's like a couple mics on the drums, one mic on everyone else, and that's the record. Yeah. And I and I don't know something something like in my brain where I was like, this is the way you make records. Mm. You don't need to do all this. What are you potentially losing? You know, when you when you isolate everything and you comp everything to death and you just hit, just kick, please. Gun, gun. Okay, paste mm -hmm. that everywhere. Snare, yeah. paste it everywhere. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I never did that. I have never recorded that way. And I understand that there are like different kinds of music. And some of my favorite music is more like, maybe you might call it like, um, I don't know what kind of art form. Like, is it sculpture to do that? Where you're like, I'm pasting, I'm copy pasting, but I'm making this amazing collage out of it. Like there is incredible art that was made in, in the modern era with contemporary production. I can't do it myself because I don't trust myself. I quickly lose the source mm. for me. So anyway, I saw that Beatles thing and I was like, I'm making my whole next record live, no headphones, with bleed in the room, in a small room, so help me God, and I will die on this hill, is how I felt, <laughs> you know? And and uh, luckily, I have friends who are also crazy and very talented at recording in this way. And um, yeah, there was a series of just like kismet, you know, events, as, 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 as they say, like, you know, when you start to sort of let life know that you want to do something, it sort of starts showing up and responding in that way and i hadn't even really told anyone this and then uh phil weinrobe who's a great um, incredible recording engineer and mixing engineer mm -hmm. in uh out of brooklyn in new york he works a, a lot out of uh figure eight which is a great recording studio there but he also has his own studio and phil just hit me up and was like hey man when are we making a record mm. and i've been a fan of phil for a while and i really like phil and i was like uh what are you doing on the 18th? You know, I was like, uh, how about next month? You know? And he's like, yeah, cool. 